<laughs> Welcome back guys, it's Ryan here and um, we're going back with a different kind of video than I would normally do but I kind of just, I wanted to do this because I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why I want to do this but I just want to do it so basically um, without further ado, let's go ahead and grab it, get into it, I meant to get say get in, yeah. Okay, so um, if you did not read the title or whatnot, this is a video on how to make a kind of, I mean, it's a gaming logo. It's my logo for one. I'm showing you how to do it with my logo, but you guys can apply it to your own logo. Um, but so I'm going to show you guys how I did it and uh, maybe you learned something. So, <laughs> um, so first off, we're going to start with the um, background. So the background that I'm using, I guess, is going to be a bricks wall kind of background. And uh, it's going to look like this. So it's going to be a brick wall. Uh, it doesn't have to be like anything um, too out of the ordinary. It doesn't have to be anything like too crazy. I mean, I literally just found this picture and now I'm using it. So, but I, I want it to um, be a lot darker than it already is right now because it's sort of bright. So I, to do that, I'm going to go ahead and go right here. I'm going to go to curves and basically I kind of want to make it up here in a way. So it looks a little bit darker than it already is and then you're gonna go there all right then we're gonna go right here we're gonna go back to this and then we're gonna go black and white now this is black and white obviously and we're gonna do one more and um, oh, we're gonna go to gradient and uh, with the gradient you're gonna switch it this and I'll bring it over here you're gonna switch this to a I guess I don't really have it on here which kind of sucks you're gonna switch this to a black and right there and I think other than that, um, oh, you know what, you know what, I just popped my knuckle. Um, I forgot a step here. Uh, you're going to go right here and you're going to go solid color and we're going to go to black. There we go. And I'm, I'm thinking here, we want to make, we want to make the opacity yeah 50 percent 50 percent about and to do that now we got this here i want to bring in i want to bring in a gradient so let's uh yeah let's go ahead and go gradient um black and white again like i said before um, so I kind of want to make it like just so totally focused on the logo itself. So to do that, I guess we'll do a radial, then we'll reverse it. So it kind of looks like it's going in. And other than that, this is the wrong way. Why is that the wrong way? <laughs> Why is this the wrong Two way? hours later. Okay. So, um, sorry about that. I, t t t I live in an apartment, so. We get people. We get people a lot. So um, okay, I figure out the gradient right here. You're going to switch it to this right here. Black on one side, white on the other, or transparent on the other side. Radial, you're going to do a 12 um, degree incline, 12 degree angle, and then reverse. I think that's the only things in radial, and then you're good. And then it should look like this, basically. And this is kind of the almost finished background. We're going to do a little bit later on, but now... Let's go ahead and bring in, um, let's go ahead and bring in our logo here. So what logo I'm using, obviously, is um, my own, which is this right here. It's going to be just a white logo. For right now, it's going to be the white. So we're going to bring it somewhere, wherever we want to, but we'll put it right there, kind of, kind of smack dab in the middle. And um, then from there, we're going to go ahead and grab the um what am i doing okay so um we're gonna basically we're gonna bring this we're gonna make this um we're gonna make this do a few things here so we're gonna double click um and then from right here because i, I want to show you guys we're gonna go to inner glow we're gonna bring that in so that already kind of makes it look a little bit neonish because i already have it kind of set so i guess um, cause I already, 
Yeah, so basically the settings, we're gonna make it uh, blend mode normal, of course. Um, we're gonna make it the color that you want to. So right now, mine's a, a white. As uh, to start with, it's gonna be white and blue. That's kind of what I'm going with. You guys can do whatever you guys want to, but I'm doing white and blue. So um, basically I make the logo white and then I make everything around it blue, which is my main color and the one that's gonna glow. So um, I would recommend doing the same thing making the logo white and then doing what color you want to as the glow or as the obvious neon color. So with this, you're gonna switch um, the inner glow to the color that you want. And if you guys wanna do my same exact color, then it's this right here, 00C0FF. <laughs> Go ahead and type that in and then you got that. So um, that's the color I'm using, that's the blue I use. Um, you're gonna make it softer, you're gonna make it 29, uh, the size 29, I believe that's, I mean, I think other than that, then the 37 range. Again, you fiddle it with your logo. This is kind of specific to my logo, given the size of it, but if yours is smaller or if yours is text, it's gonna be different. So go ahead and just do what you guys wanna do. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the outer glow, and the outer glow is gonna kind of make it a little fuzzier looking. Um, so basically same same uh, situation as last time here's the settings uh normal we're gonna bring the opacity down to 100 percent. not down keep it the same <laughs> and then uh do the same thing keep the um the color the exact same color as your inner glow and your outer glow and then the spread zero the size is 13 on my logo and then the range is going to be 73 percent. so something like that then the next thing would be drop shadow and this is the only time i would say the drop shadow is going to be black so i i've tried it before doing the same color and it looks good so if you want to do it that kind of way i'm not i'm going to do black so um you're going to do blend mode multiply opacity at 35 percent angle same 90 degrees as it probably already is distance 21 zero size 18 and uh, just leave the quality as is other than that that's about it so right here now we're going to go ahead and do uh, control J and that's gonna basically make another copy and from there you're going to clear layer style because we don't want the layer style the same anymore and then we're also going to um, uh, convert to smart object and that's gonna make you basically do whatever you want so then you're gonna go up to filter here you're gonna go to blur you're gonna go to Gaussian blur if I'm saying that right <laughs> and then from there, um, and I already missed a step, sorry about that. Um, basically, you could do this however you want to. Um, I'll, I'll put in my color right there, the blue. I kind of messed it up already, because uh, you gotta put in, you gotta put in the blue. You gotta make it the color that you wanna make it, and then you go to filter, and then you go, if I can do it, then you go to Gaussian Blur, right there. And I make mine, give it, and then again, it's completely based off of the size that you want to. So I make mine 26.3. That's about the size that I'm gonna go with. You guys can do whatever size you guys want to, but this is the size I'm going with. There you go. Okay, next step is kind of the, um, and also bring this underneath it. Ooh, then you got this. There you go, see it looks good. So then, um, then basically you're gonna make another layer here. You're gonna get your uh, paintbrush, wherever I just, why can I not find it? Where is it? Oh, right here. <laughs> you're gonna get your brush tool. You're gonna to make it, uh, here's the settings. You're gonna make the hardness at 0%. You're gonna make it 401 pixels, and you're gonna make it the color, just to make sure. Uh, you're gonna make it the uh, color that, uh, the background color. So from there, you're gonna kinda of go right here, and you're gonna go around where you want to and again this is this is completely based off of how much you want to um and then from right there it looks good i think so but then uh that's about it um then you're gonna bring it all the way back underneath and then you got kind of this right here and that right there in my opinion it looks pretty good <laughs> it looks pretty good i mean the only the only thing i would say is the drop shadow is a little much. I think that would be, see how I'm already saying, like the, the there are, it's little fiddles with the, how big your logo is compared to mine. Um, or I have fiddles I have to do on my logo. So, but that's about it as far as 
the look of it. So one more thing I think would be that would be right here. It's going to be curves. We're going to bring the curves. Um, okay, so we're going to basically make it uh, on the lighter side on up here. And you're going to bring this to the darker side. And that might be a little bit too light. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Uh, darker side over here. You might even keep it the same, to be honest, because that looks that's that's what looks good to me. So you switch the curves, and then it makes the colors a little more popping, a little more vibrant, and that's what you kind of get. And uh, this logo is, in my opinion, and uh, yeah, yeah, all right, <laughs> right about there, I'd say. So uh, other than that, that's kind of what you got right here, um, as far as logos go, and of course. Um, of course you just, you make, I mean, you make a, a group and then you, you put it in the group and then, and then you put the group <laughs> there and then it makes it easier and then you take it and then, and you name it logo and then you're good. And then you just save it up here and then you save as, and you don't need to see that. Um, <laughs> uh, it's nothing, it's not porn or anything, but, um, you save as on um, the Photoshop file, and then you basically got uh, you basically got your logo that is um, the neon logo. And from there, you can obviously use it however you guys want to. I mean, if you guys really want to, boom, you use it as kind of like a uh, well. You take all this, you take all that stuff off, and then you use it as a watermark, um, which I believe I do. Um, but other than that, that's about it, guys. Um, Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.